I grew up in a church that always had a large Bible displayed at the front. Maybe you did too. Did you ever wonder about that? Why it was there? The history behind that tradition is fascinating and challenging. For centuries, the Word of God was chained within the Latin language. It was purposefully kept from the common man because it was argued he would misinterpret its meaning. Then men came along like Wycliffe, Huss, Tyndale, and Luther, all pioneers in a revolt to end the sacerdotal stronghold in which the powers of the day held scripture. One decisive blow in this battle was dealt when Thomas Cromwell, General Secretary for Henry VIII and Vicar General of the Church of England, issued orders that all the clergy under his leadership must provide a large English Bible. His edict read in part, and the same set up in some convenient place within the said church that ye have care of, whereas your parishioners may most commodiously resort to the same and read it. Issued in 1538. The result? Every church in England eventually had a large Bible at the front, which the common folk were free to read. People stood in line for hours for their chance to read God's word with their very own eyes. But the word of God was still chained, literally. Because of the scarcity and value of those manuscripts, many of them were hand copied. They were bound to the church altars with chains. Well, things have certainly come a long way. Most of us know experientially that the Bible is more available to more people than at any other time in human history. Now, there still are places in the world where God's word is chained, if you will. It's illegal. But most of us do not have that excuse. I hear many people these days lamenting the erosion, possibly the overthrow of their freedoms. Why not exercise the freedom you have right now to read and memorize God's word? 